Hello and welcome to this tutorial. Today we look at exception handling in Java. An exception is an object that is created as a result of an error or an unexpected event. To prevent exceptions from crashing your program, you must write code that detects and handles them. There are a lot of built-in exceptions in Java. Examples include arithmetic exception, array index out of bounds exception, class not found exception, input output exception, file not found exception, end of file exception, interrupted exception, no such field exception, no such method exception, number format exception, and many, many more. Now let's look at some few exceptions in a code. Arithmetic exception. Arithmetic exception occurs when there is an error in arithmetic operation. Example is division by zero. Now let's look at an example of a program that throws an arithmetic exception. I'm calling the program arithmetic exception demo. Arithmetic exception demo. So you choose the or you click the um, public static void main for the main method. Uh, let me take out the programming start that we have here. Okay, so let me add a bit of um, comment here. So this program um, device a number by zero. Uh, it creates an arithmetic exception. So that is what the program does. It creates an arithmetic exception. Um, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to declare and initialize three variables. First is a, oh sorry, a, and I will initialize to eight. Another variable is b, and I am initializing it to zero. But with a third one that is c, I am going to um, divide the a by the b. So if you can see what I have here, I am dividing 8 by 0 because a is 8 and b is 0. So let me add a little bit of uh, comments here. Here there will be an error. Yeah, because I cannot divide by 0. It makes sense. In math, you cannot divide by 0, but I'm trying to do that. Okay, so... And um, right after that, I want to type this to the console. So A divided by B. B is A divided by B is C. Okay. So that is what I want to be printed out. So there is a program that is going to throw an arithmetic exception because I'm trying to divide by zero. So let me run the program and see the result. Okay, if you look at what we have here, we have a bunch of words. Exception in thread main, java.lang.arithmetic exception, division by zero or divided by zero, at exception.arithmetic exception demo.main. So I am being told that there is an exception, there is an error in my thread, and it is happening at line 14. So if I click on this, I'm told that this statement that line 14 is impossible because you cannot divide by zero in mathematics so the program throws an arithmetic exception so the programmer must write code to handle possible exceptions in this program and to handle an exception you use a try statement or a try catch statement so now let us see how we can handle the arithmetic exception in our program so what i'm going to do right now is that i'm going to modify this code such that it does not throw exception again and i'm saying that to handle exceptions you use a try statement now if you look at the code here the first line does not cause exception the second does not and when i run it i was even told by the id that um the compiler said the exception was occurring at line 14 of course that is this so that is where the division happens or occurs 
so to do that you use what we call a try statement so i'm going to put that line that causes the exception into a try statement and i'm going to put a whole of this line into a try statement so what it, it means here is that i want you to try execute this and see and I'm saying that I wanted to try because I know that there is a possibility that an arithmetic error will occur. That is how I will divide by zero. So anytime you write a try statement, you also attach a catch statement. So it's something like a try catch statement. So I want you to catch the exception. So what type of exception is that? I want you to catch the arithmetic exception. Uh, and so if you look at the program that i have here or the code that i have here it means that um i want you to run this code i want you to try and run this code but because you know i suspect that there is a likelihood that an exception will occur around here i have to put that in a try statement so if you are a programmer and you are writing code always you have to be able to detect where there is a possibility that a particular exception will occur and um, when you are able to do that you handle such an exception by putting it in a try catch statement so i want you to try execute this line and if there is any exception i want you to catch it here and execute it uh gracefully so what is going to happen here is that if an exception is thrown here the um, compiler will leave the try statement here and come to the catch statement here to execute anything uh, within the catch um, uh, statement. All right, so let me run this program and see what happens. All right, so now nothing happens. There is no error. <laughs> nothing happens here, but what is actually happening here is that there is an error occurring here. But because there is a catch statement here, the catch uh, statement arrests or catches the arithmetic error. And when it catches it, it has to execute some code here. But there is no code here. So let me try and put a code here and see what will happen. So anything that I put here is going to be executed right after um, the catch uh, statement catches the arithmetic exception so let me add something here i'm saying sorry you cannot divide by zero okay so in this case when i run this program again of course there'll be an arithmetic exception here uh but the catch statement will catch it and this thing will be printed out i will have sorry you cannot divide by zero yeah so as you can see sorry you cannot divide by zero. That is how we treat exceptions, basically. You put the section of code that you think there will be an exception into a try statement, then you immediately catch the exception and write something down to explain what is going on there.